Martha Savory. And my name is Kristen Neville. I came in one day and Martha and John had knocked this wall over that kind of divided the space. And it was like, wow, it's like a big, beautiful, open space. And it started to change dramatically from there. At a certain point, the studio space made a transition to uh, being a gallery space. The start of the space wasn't so much about um, us having this dream of being gallerists or like directors of galleries. Or it was more about um, having a hand in the community that was starting to build up around us and what part could we have in it. I think it's always important to provide um, an outlet for young emerging artists to showcase their work and give them as much creative freedom as possible. I think the unique thing about our space is that um, so far anything that people have, have thrown at us, we've been able to say you can go ahead and do that. Oh well the name uh, Little Berlin came from, I was at a party around this neighborhood and there's a lot of old industrial buildings that have been taken over by artists and musicians. A guest at this party I was at told me something that I thought was pretty pretentious at the time. She said, um, I love this area of Philadelphia. It's just like a little Berlin. Neither of us had been to Berlin and we thought that was a funny comment and later when I told Kristen the story she was like, we should call the gallery Little Berlin, that's perfect. Little Berlin is founded on not being defined, being un remaining undefined so that it can always have room to change. I think Little Berlin is important as a do-it-yourself operation um, to let people know that you can just start something and it becomes really important if you're committed to working with people and committed to an idea. We are learning as we go and um, every time we put on another show we have another experience of, of uh, affecting people positively and I think that the more people you can affect positively the better and more enriched your life becomes.